Okay, what we have here is my bike. As you can tell, it's still dirty from the track Sunday. I'm gonna. I had a little small accident, bent my bars, and also pulled the threads out of my rear brake. The uh, it's very difficult for you to see, but it's watered out and will no longer hold the stud. stripped out. So I am going to fix it. What I have is I have the drill bit, the tap, and the easy lock, which is a thread insert that is good for very high torque. As you can tell there's threads inside that actually match the 8.125 millimeter of the bolt and then the outside is 10.175 excuse me, that's 10.1.75 thread pattern and that's what the tap is that I have well let's see if I can do this without tearing anything up The tap is an M12-1.75 and the internal threads is an M8-1.25. So if anybody else has got to fix this on their bike, those are the components that you will need. There we go, we have a good clean hole all the way through. You gotta be careful with that aluminum because it will galled up. It's really bad about that. So you want to do it slow, not to generate too much heat. Okay, let me get my tool for tapping that out. Okay, here we are. As you can tell, while I was away, I pulled my foot peg off to get it out of the way. You gotta remember that you're drilling into aluminum. So the last thing you want is for your your tap to that to dig into the aluminum and actually rip the aluminum out. So you want to take it slow. Make sure you're as straight as possible, and let the tip do the cutting. As far as you don't need to put pressure inward on it, it will it will build its own threads. As you can tell right now, I'm not having much trouble doing this. thing looks pretty straight. I think it's a go. Keep a little WD-40 or some penetrating lubricating on it. That'll help stop it from galling up. Clean off some of the gold, some of the chunks. And the oil in it. Let's go ahead and run it on through. Make sure you run it all the way through. Like a good clean cut. Now 
want to make sure that we clean that out really well. And I'm going to use me some carburetor and choke cleaner because I want to make sure that I remove all that oil so that the Loctite will adhere to the metal. This is a little brake clean. It'll evaporate until you have zero residue left. Very good for this to help get rid of the, the other chemicals. Give that a second to dry. Dry that really, really good. Make sure it's good and clean. Now what I'm going to use is, it already comes with a Loctite on it, a type of red Loctite. And I'm going to add a little bit of extra because I just want to make sure that this does not go anywhere. I want it to be a permanent fix. I'm going to saturate those threads really good. I don't care if we have a little bit of waste. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my actual foot peg piece to screw that in all the way. Get my Allen wrench. Pull this back out so that I don't lock tight it in there before I put the bike back together. There we go. We have us a uh, should be very well fixed. Very well should be as strong as new repair for this brake lever screw and assembly. There we go. Now we have brand new threads. should be as good as new. Here we are. Okay, here we are. Job done. As you can tell, my brake lever's on. Solid as a rock. And it should be as strong as brand new. Only time will answer that question. Thanks. Hope this helps somebody whenever they have the same problem. And basically the same thing can be used to fix most any bolt holes that are stripped out. Have a good day.